Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to control a pneumatic piston with um with your Ruby 5 brain. And if you don't know how to set up pneumatics, I'm going to link a good tutorial in the description. But here's how you program it. I'm going to have this for blocks and for text. Just look in the chapters below and skip ahead to uh, your section. So first there's blocks, and in blocks there's two ways to do this. With an if and an else if command, or with just the uh, when button pressed. First is when button pressed, so of course always add your controller first. And now we have to uh, set up your solenoid. So I plugged mine in in port A. So you go to three wire, de uh, three wire device, digital out, and then I put mine on port A. So I'm going to uh, put on port A. I'm going to name it solenoid, just like that. You don't have to name it, but I prefer to. Now for method one, we're going to use these two blocks. We want it on the left one and the left two. So, oh. on button L1, we want the piston to stay, uh, to be retracted. And on L2, we want the piston to be out. This is very easy. Just go to sensing, set solenoid low, and set solenoid high. High means the piston will be out. Low means the piston will be in. And that's all there. Is, that's all there is to it for method one. L1, the piston will uh, be in. L2, the piston will go out. And now for method two. We don't need these two. Instead, we need a when started block. And an if. It has to be this type of block. But an if and an else if block. And for this method, we are going to make use of the controller sensing. So for our first if button, I'm going to use. L1 and L2. And it's important to note you can exchange L1 and L2 with whichever buttons you like. I just prefer L1 and L2. So for L1, we wanted it to be low. And for L2, we wanted it to be high. That's it. It's easy, it's simple. And I hope you learned something. Now for text. It's not that hard. And, but there is only, unfortunately, one way to do it in text, and that is with an if and an else if. So first of all, add your controller and add your solenoid. So it's under three wire, and it's a digital out. I have mine on port A, and we're just going to name it solenoid. You don't have to name it, I just prefer to. And wait a moment. Now we just have to program it. Since we're using if statements, we're first we're going to do an if. But button L1. I'm going to use L1 and L2 for this example. You can change it to anything you'd like. So L1, and we're going to do solenoid set and false. So when I press L1, the solenoid will uh, be retracted, it won't be out. Next, we're going to uh, do it for L2. So we're going to do else if. But button L2 solenoid set false. Just like that. And remember, close out every line with a semicolon. That's all there is to it. And the button L1 is pressed. Um, this, oh, I just set this to false. My bad. When button L1 is pressed, use uh, the piston will be in. When button L2 is pressed, the piston will be out. I uh, hope you learned something, and thank you for watching.